A few months ago, literally everyone was making a video on Iron Gwazi. I did too. We were speculating on why Iron Gwazi wasn't open yet. What we thought was going on, as well as when we thought it would open. I watched most of the videos on the topic, and even made two on this channel. But it wasn't until now that I realized it. This is my theory on what is really going on with Iron Gwazi. I don't know if you noticed, but literally everyone was making a video on Iron Gwazi. Though there weren't videos popping up everywhere on Pantheon, Icebreaker, or Emperor. This makes sense as Iron Gwazi is a very hyped up coaster and is way more hyped than any of the other SeaWorld coasters. But I think there's something else too. The Iron Gwazi videos were all going viral. Look at anyone who made a video on Gwazi and compare the view count to their other videos. One of my Iron Gwazi videos is the most viewed on this entire channel right now. Everyone was talking about Iron Gwazi because that's what everyone wanted to watch. That was the topic everyone was interested in. This made me think even deeper. And here goes my theory on Serial's secret opening for Iron Gwazi. Let me just add in here. Just this week, Bush Gardens officially announced Iron Gwazi to be opening for March of 2022. From the other SeaWorld coasters, only one other opening date has been announced, and that is Icebreaker, opening in February of 2022. By the time the video is out, there could have been announcements for the others, but I don't tell the future. I was working on this video for a few weeks now, so I didn't know a 2022 opening would be confirmed in the coming weeks. Now if Iron Gwazi is opening for 2022, SeaWorld has a problem. The hype on the coaster is gone. Or is it? Iron Gwazi's hype isn't dying out. It's barely started. Now before you dislike the video, let me explain what I mean. When there's a video talking about Iron Gwazi, it doesn't go viral. But when Iron Gwazi is criticized or put in a negative light, the video goes viral. People are disappointed in SeaWorld and Bush Gardens but are still well aware of Iron Gwazi. No one forgot about this coaster, at least not yet. Roller coaster enthusiasts make up a tiny percentage of theme parks overall guests. So a few enthusiasts watching Iron Gwazi videos on YouTube doesn't really help SeaWorld. Honestly, I believe SeaWorld is looking to rehype this coaster for whenever they decide to open it which now looks to be spring of 2022. Now one may think it's hard to rehype a coaster that was once one of the most hyped up coasters in the world, period. But I don't think that's the case. You see, the hype's already there. There's just one problem. The hype is all negative hype. Negative hype is basically where something gets people excited, but in a negative way. Every time people hear about Iron Gwazi, they get frustrated or disappointed. The hype's there, but it's all negative. All SeaWorld needs to do is turn all the negative hype surrounding their coasters into positive hype. The big question though is, how will they do that? People are upset about Iron Gwazi and the other coasters. They feel let down especially since SeaWorld wasn't being transparent throughout the year. Even if SeaWorld rehypes their coasters, many people won't care about it as much, or just won't be interested in it as much after years of waiting. Expectations were once sky high, so every minor letdown hurts the coaster immensely. That's where another one of my theories come in. What if SeaWorld uses something else positive to rehype their coasters? Let me explain what I mean. If SeaWorld announces Iron Gwazi and the other coasters to open in 2022, and a few months later announces another major thing for each park for the 2023 or 2024 season, that will change the hype from negative to positive. 
What if SeaWorld announces a B&M surf coaster to come to SeaWorld Orlando a year after Icebreaker? What if they announced an RMC coming to Busch Gardens Williamsburg the year after Pantheon Open? What if they announced another major coaster coming to BGW after Iron Gwazi? Another announcement for each park would raise the hype all over again. It would make all the current negative hype turn to positive and they would likely see massive success when opening their coasters. Right now this is just a theory, but let's look at it from a financial point of view. Opening something new and major in every one of their parks right away would cost them a lot of money. The big question is, can they afford it? For that, we need to look at something else. What is the reason they didn't open the postponed 2020 coasters in 2021? The most common reasons people believe they delay the coasters an extra year are one, to get as much money possible out of the coaster and two staffing issues personally i believe it's a staffing issue seaworld stock price for the last few months is higher than it ever was that's why i think it's not a financial issue staffing issues on the other hand is what i think was their reason for postponing their coasters because we've seen many other amusement parks suffering from staffing issues since reopening so to answer the question of whether they can afford to open new things in each park for the 2023 or 2024 season, I think the answer is yes. Honestly, I think this is one very easy way for SeaWorld to rehype Iron Gwazi and the rest of their coasters. However, there's one problem I have with this. If you announce a brand new major coaster to open only a year after the 2020 coaster, Many people may decide to wait a year before visiting the parks so they can get on both new coasters instead of having to come back again the following year to get the newest experience. So what if they only open a new flat ride? Hmm. SeaWorld San Antonio is getting an SNS Scream and Swing since they opened Texas Stingray in 2020, which means if the other parks open their new coasters in 2022, maybe they'll all get good flat rides in 2023. And, well, SeaWorld Orlando can get their surf coaster. So here's my wild prediction. I think SeaWorld Orlando, SeaWorld San Diego, and BGT will open their coasters in early 2022. Both are year-round parks, and both coasters are on the cheaper side. Then I predict Pantheon will open later in 2022. I also predict SeaWorld Orlando to get the surf coaster in late 2023, which I believe is why they are getting Icebreaker early in 2022. I think the surf coaster's announcement will come sometime next year and it will open in late 2023. I also think BGT will announce a new flat ride or coaster in 2023 but I won't share my thoughts on what I think that could be in this video. Pantheon may get delayed to 2023 as it's a much more expensive coaster and KD is opening Tom Billy that year. But I don't think that should scare them to delay it. Hopefully they don't delay Pantheon any further. Now, before I end the video, here's a crazy thing. What if SeaWorld will let us do the work for them? What I mean is, what if SeaWorld just left it up to us all to transfer our negative hype into positive hype and spread it on social media? If enough people did that, it could spread to major media networks and give SeaWorld's 2022 coasters an entire rehype. We all know the momentum is there, so let's go! Make this video the most viewed on my channel, and if you have a coaster channel, Try making a video on how excited you are for Iron Gwazi and the others. I know I'm super excited. I know I'm super excited. Let me know in the comments.